quite a short flight from Calais no, to Santa Maria. Yeah. But Dock it was a really, down. really hot day and we were being chucked around left, right and centre. A couple of people have commented that as we were flying to a fly-in, uh, that it was noticeable that there was nobody there. Well, the truth of the matter was we actually flew over on the Friday. It's the way that we tend to work it. We tend to like to get over there on Friday so that we can settle and usually go out for a meal with Oliver and Crystal. Not bad at all under the conditions. Kip, got to be quick on your toes. Mother. That and your bells. Yeah. Our bells are okay. Well, here we are. Back in your French home. Yes. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. So certainly it's a fairly busy roundabout, isn't it? Mm. I, I love the different tiles that you get. Mm. You know, the, the way that the roof yeah, is all yeah, different. I, I do this. It's very nice to walk around the old town of saint Mare. We're always impressed by the cathedral, the enormity of the building, and the fact that the paperwork around the bottom was saying that it took 300 years to build and you wonder how on earth people managed to get scaffolding up that high and what the scaffolding was and how it worked but it's noticeable that they're still working on the building but it is a very very nice and very very thriving town Saturday was the first day of the fly-in and the first visitor was the Jodo which belongs to our friends from Switzerland, Tony, Suzanne and Sophie. We've been meeting up with them for years now um, and it was nice to see them arrive. John's talking to Alistair who's somebody else that we always see at Santa Mare. He now flies a French registered aircraft. He used to have a Jodel um, on the English register, and I say that because he flies from one of the French aeroparks, which is not very far away from Saint Omer. It was nice to see him again. The helicopter was offering pleasure flights and was going to be extremely busy over the next two days. Alistair and John were having a conversation while they were waiting for Chris to arrive. He was coming in from Rain Hall Farm and actually was one of the first visitors.
the helicopter was doing trips of about five minutes with a uh, rotors running change of passengers each time. It was quite a slick operation, but I have to say it did look very close to the Jodel. It's nice to meet up with other pilots and have a chat, especially after all that time in Covid where we didn't actually meet anybody. But this conversation was cut short with the arrival of a formation from Belgium. This was an aerodrome open door event and it was really nice to see so many people from the local community beginning to arrive. The aero club had worked really hard to put on a really great display. The hangar had been cleared, they were providing food and there were plenty of local displays, stands and stalls to promote and celebrate the local area, which they were doing really, really well. And it was really nice to see families enjoying themselves, as you can see here from the children especially. Chris, is it good? With no more flying that day, it didn't take long for the pilots to hit the beer. So what do you say that was called? An abandonment suit on eBay and you get a pair of them for 65 quid plus £10 postage and package. And apparently they're good for about four or five hours in the water. Um, Fully, uh, no water gets in, the cups are all tied. Yeah. You take your shoes off. Uh, best break. Who, who here? Uh, beer. Can't we beer. That's it, the beer. So uh, you take your shoes off. 
not me. And you, you slide, you've got rubber soles yeah. and the cuffs. Right. And, and you say it was quite cool. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, real, no real problems. It wasn't hot. No, 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 I didn't. No. I should imagine on a very hot day. But hurricane. For £36, pounds, potentially save your life. You don't look particularly good. You look like the Tango Man, but. Excellent. Um, we gave it a go and I definitely say a thumbs up. Good. Real. By early afternoon, there were literally hundreds of people at the event. saying temperature wise it's absolutely perfect for them um, there's not to be honest there's not as many people flying in as I had thought yeah. um, but that might be good though because yeah. it could be that if a whole load of us come in on that day uh, you know, t today and, that, and, and sort of swamp everything they probably wouldn't be able to cope no but I mean it was as we said earlier it was basically a community day that they've just invited a few aircraft, a few aircraft because most of us, people, yeah, most of us were, were responded to an email rather than it being a, an advertised event. Mm. But I mean, it has been, um, hopefully the video will show it, it has been an absolutely tremendous day for them. Um, and it's really, really busy and good for them. Just look at the queue waiting for their turn in the helicopter. As well as the helicopter, the Aero Club was also doing pleasure flights and kept two aircraft busy all of the time.
the girls had done a wonderful job booking flights and selling meal tickets. I must admit I gave myself a rest that night and I didn't film the hangar bash which was really nice as usual but Sunday morning dawned bright and beautiful and it wasn't long before we started having visitors again. On the Sunday morning before 12 o'clock when they were going to start opening flights up to other people again the Aero Club were providing flights for refugee children not just from Ukraine but other places around the world. Paul is now a commercial pilot and flying people for the Aero Club it wasn't that long ago when he backseated in the RV4 with John one evening. Pauline had told me how pleased they were that they were able to help these refugee children. So Francois is the president of the Aero Club and he was good enough to invite us to this event, but tell me, it's called an open door event, which is happening to aerodromes all over France, but how did you think yesterday went? It was a great success. We, we were a lot of people, I, I assume we were around 5,000 uh, people yesterday and the same for today, perhaps a bit more because the day is not off okay. for the event. And the helicopter was working the whole time. Yeah. Your, your aircraft were working the whole also, time. And this morning you were flying children from Ukraine? Yes, right. Alors, mainly from Ukraine, but some also other uh, children uh, from other parts of the world where they have also wars on their country. And uh, in order to save their life, they are arrived in France and uh, we open this fly for them to give them some sunshine Brilliant. on their life and they all looked really happy yes it and, was amazing to see and your members look very happy also and thank you very much for inviting us thank you team